Yo, what's up, man? It's the pilot, and I'm back. It's cold outside. Super cold. Depending on where you at. It's fucking freezing. Snowing. All that good stuff. Guys, but before we get started, like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. If you don't feel like seeing my amazing face every day talking about shoes, clothes, and hats, and, and, and jean jackets, and, and blazers, and all that good stuff, man, go ahead and hit the like button. It does nothing but help my channel grow. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, today, we want to talk about, since it's cold outside, um, I had a... a I kind of got one of my, my viewer friends, and she was like, you ought to do like five or ten essential things to work for the winter. I'm like, oh, that's a pretty good idea, but I'm just not getting around to it. But I'm only going to do five. It's only five really things, five things really, that um, are important right now to me for the winter that you need to have that make you look stylish. Now, some of the stuff may be out of the box. To you, some of the stuff may be like, oh, I already knew that. But this is my group of five. All right, now we're going to start with kind of like a honorable mention slash number five. All right, everybody knows the I can dress now or I'm stylish starter kit for a guy that's not stylish is a Chelsea boot. Any, <laughs> any kind of Chelsea boot and a denim jacket. Okay. I prefer a lighter denim jacket. If, you, if you're if you um, going to get your first denim jacket, right, and you're trying to be more stylish, okay, a lighter shade of a denim jacket, a lighter uh, color of it is always better because it stands out a little bit more than a dark one or a black one or like a, um, a raw denim one. But, hey, this is the starter kit of trying to dress better right here. Any type of Chelsea boot or boot, Forcing that with an outfit instead of sneakers, right? And a denim jacket. So that's kind of like my number five, all right, for the winter. Those are my number five, I guess. Uh, or my honorable mission, whatever, right? All right, now, I've been getting more and more into uh, accessories as I get more and more into fashion. They really make or break your outfit. You can make with adding a ring or a hat or some shades or earrings to your outfit really take your style up a notch and a lot of people don't even notice it um like i said you can see a bunch of guys when you go out um to a bar or something to a restaurant everybody's got the starter kit on right but that one guy with the starter kit and he's got a cool hat on or he's got a cool bracelet or ring or, or he's got a cool pair of shoes that stand out and make it steps everything up and for the winter i wasn't into beanies but what kind of beanie i have on right now i got on the cable knit beanie now um, cable knit beanies. I have a million of these now. Um, from like a golden color to a gray to black. And this green one right here is probably my favorite one. I think I got a green one on here. Yeah. Kind of like a, a light olive green one. And it, the reason why I say cable knit beanie, um, is because it looks just looks totally better. And you can wear a cable knit beanie, um, with a suit anything in the winter and it looks good it looks really presentable rather than just like a regular one i mean let me just put let me just show you guys what i'm talking about. i need a haircut real bad don't talk about me too bad y'all i'm about to go right right after i finish this video but the difference in the way these two look now this may pass but it looks like you, you know you might have just got off your construction job right but this one looks like okay well this guy tried a little bit like he tried to put his outfit together a little bit, or, or this one right here, like this, oh, I love this golden one, this little tan one. Okay, it looks like you tried to put your outfit together, so you imagine this with like a suit, or imagine this with your, with your style starter kit, with your denim, <laughs> denim jacket and your blazer. I mean, these are hard, man, so cable knit, if you're going to get a beanie, man, get a cable knit beanie, whether it be olive, gray, black, whatever. For some reason, they just look totally better. I mean, trust me, um, yeah, it, it'll take your style up a notch. Um, number, what's this? Is this number two? Number two, I guess. Well, two, three, four. All right, all right. Yeah, this is number two. Wearing gloves, any type of glove. Right now, these are like uh, open finger uh, biker gloves that I wear. But just wearing gloves. Guys, think about how many people you know. Think about right now, okay? 
right now. Think about how many people you know that wear gloves. I'll wait. I'll wait. All right. Bob from marketing. That's the only guy. <laughs> that's the only guy you know that wears gloves. Even when it's not super, super cold, wearing gloves with an outfit takes your style up 1,500 notches. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw my Halloween pictures or whatever um, from my Halloween costume on my Instagram or whatever, but these gloves, like, I went out um, with a friend and people gave me so many compliments on my on my costume, but another thing a lot of people liked was wear the gloves. Um, you can wear them. Like, now, these glo gloves are a little bit extreme as far as, like, style-wise, but... There are a lot of different gloves that you can wear, different colors. I would try to get, honestly, if I were you and you were going to buy one pair of gloves, I would, look, one pair of gloves, I would get like a suede brown. I would get a suede brown color, like a light brown or like a tan. Um, and you can wear that with anything, dude. It would take your style up a notch and make your outfit look totally better. And it, it makes you, my, one, my big thing about style, Okay, accessories and stuff, or just putting your outfit together. You want when, when to look more stylish. You have to do things or have an outfit on that makes it look like you put in more effort than the average man. And accessories do that very well, whether it be a coat, hat, gloves, whatever. All right, so that's number two. Number three, big big deal, a trench coat. Hopefully, I have some B-roll. Okay, a trench coat, any trench coat of any kind, long or not. A trench coat is very, 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 very important. Okay, um, you can put it over athletic gear, okay, and make an outfit look cool. You can put it over a suit, make it look good. Casual outfit, man. Trench coats are very important. Um, they just make you look more sophisticated, more stylish, more uh, mature, and it's a great piece to have. A lot of men these days do not have a really good trench coat and also very important when you do get a trench coat make sure that you get it tailored or it's fitted it fits tight around your arms that just makes it look, you look like Batman like a superhero you know or a super villain so um, yeah if you get a trench coat make sure that you get it fitted or you get it tailored to fit you correctly and tight around your shoulders and your arms alright now this is what we're on two, three, four. Okay, number four. Instead of bombers this season, I'm going to say varsity jackets are going to be the thing. For me, I have a few varsity jackets. This is a varsity jacket. It fits really uh, short, and it kind of reminds me of, hopefully I have some B-roll. Um, it kind of reminds me of a St. Laurent jacket that I won a long time ago, and I kind of got a cheaper version, but it still looks just as good. Um, but yeah, this is a uh, freaking amazing, and uh, yeah, man, it's another good piece to have. Everybody wears bombers, but I think instead of me wearing bomber jackets and stuff this winter, I'm going to replace it with a varsity jacket and uh, in my wardrobe and wear that a little bit more. Um, one thing about wearing varsity jackets sometimes, especially if you have like a uh, lettering and stuff on it, you know, if you're a younger guy, you go to a bar, they think you're in high school. So you got to kind of watch that a little bit, depending on how old you are. But with me, I'm old, you know, I'm a, I'm a little bit up there in age a little bit. So um, nobody's going to really question me or ID me more, or give me a harder time, think I'm in high school or something. But, <laughs> but yeah, varsity jackets, dope. Now, this is number five, and to me, this is the number one. Oh, I forgot about one thing. I got on a flannel. Flannels are amazing. Okay, that's kind of like four and a half flannel. I, I wasn't even thinking about it. Wearing different color flannels are great. Um, man, I, I like, with my flannels, I like to buy them really, really big now. And then I like to cut the sleeve here and kind of uh, let the, let the uh, sleeve fray a little bit. But um, flannels are amazing. But that's kind of like... Everybody knows flannels are, are like an easy way out. It's kind of like part of the uh, the starter kit I was telling you guys with with, <laughs> with Chelsea boots and denim jacket. All right, but this one, number five, is the most important one. And I think you guys may notice from the videos and the B-rolls that I may have posted is a turtleneck. Okay, a black or navy turtleneck that's fitted. 
is freaking amazing. A turtleneck is so versatile. Like to me, it's like to me, it's like the V-neck of the winter. Like you wear a V-neck in the summertime, springtime, under anything, it looks great. Whether it be a blazer, um, uh, a zip-up hoodie, whatever. But man, a turtleneck. If one in the wintertime, when you're trying to wear suits or you're trying to wear more formal wear, um, it saves you from wanting to wear a tie. So if you're a guy that doesn't want to wear a tie, want to iron a button-up shirt all the time when you wear a blazer or you wear something formal, man, a turtleneck is the greatest thing that you can do. Um, and it looks more sleek. It looks more clean, uh, honestly, to me, than a button-up under a blazer, under a shirt. And you can do so much with it. You can wear a turtleneck under a basketball jersey, football jersey. When you go to games, we go to the bar. You can wear it under blazers. You can wear it under, under a, a bomber. You can wear it under a, a trench coat, whatever. And it looks good. Very important, though, to either wear a white one or a dark color one. Um, venturing out in a bunch of, like, wild reds and, and blues and other colors is cool, but... You want it to be sleek and sophisticated. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I got the burps, y'all. So, yeah, those are my top five, man. The starter kit, man. Chelsea boots. Denim jacket. Okay, that's number five. Then you got the beanies. Okay, cabin net beanies. Gloves. A trench coat. Varsity jacket instead of a bomber. Okay, flannels. All types of flannels. Are always, that's an easy way out. As part of the starter kit, and man, this the most important thing this winter, guys, is a turtleneck, dark turtleneck, navy or black. All right, guys, I hope that helped you guys.